11 plus 38 equals 49 102 plus 60 equals 162 91 plus 27 equals 118 39 plus 96 equals 135 Seven is seven, two sevens are fourteen, three sevens are twenty-one, four sevens are twenty-eight, five sevens are thirty-five, six sevens are forty-two, seven sevens are forty-nine, eight sevens are fifty-six, nine sevens are sixty-three, ten sevens are seventy. Super eights assemble! One eight is eight. Two eights are sixteen, three eights are twenty-four, we will heed the call. Four eights are thirty-two, five eights are forty, six eights are forty-eight, we'll catch you when you fall. Seven eights are fifty-six, eight eights are sixty-four, nine eights are seventy-two, here's the biggest of them all, the Super 8 who has it all. Ten eights are eighty. Eight, do you know why we count up to ten? No. Well. The main reason why we count to 10 is because humans have 10 fingers. 5 on each of their two hands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See? 10 numbers, 10 fingers. Let me show you all why we count in base 10 in a few different ways. First off, the number table. Let's do 1987 for example. Do you see anything that relates to this number? All right, let's split it into its units. This number is made up of 1,000, 900, 8 tens, and 7 ones. See? Let's see this in block form, shall we? As you can see, this number is 1,000, 900, 8 tens, and 7 ones. Let me carry on with the first method. Do you notice anything with this table? Correct. The number multiplies by 10 each time it goes left one column. Because it multiplies by 10 each time, we call this system base 10. As Dan said, humans count with base 10 out of all bases because they have 10 fingers. 5 on 2 hands. But what if humans had 8 fingers? Things will change a lot. As you can see, cartoon characters, like Mickey Mouse, have four fingers on each hand. We call this base 8, or octal. Oh wow, looks like I am no longer octoblock, but I am still called 8. So yeah, this base has 8 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Let's count in octal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do you want to see another base? Then come to my beautiful computer. This phone seems to be quite interesting. Oh, hello. I am number block 2. I am the same in octal than in decimal. I am the third out of 8 digits in octal. But what if there were only 2 digits? Let's think of it this way. Wait, what's happening? Strange. Looks like I have become one with the tens. Since I am no longer 2, I will have to say that binary is the base for data, like this phone. So. There are only two digits in binary. Zero and one. See? Two digits, two thumbs. I wear one zero shoes. One zero is my number. In decimal, it's two. To count to me in binary, it's gonna be really short. Let's hear it. One. One zero. There are eight different combinations of three-digit numbers in binary. This means that binary can easily be coded into octal. 
There are also 16 different combinations of four-digit numbers in binary. This means that binary can easily be coded into hexadecimal too. Let's move on to the next base. This is base 16, also known as hexadecimal, or hex. If this is base 16, there needs to be 16 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 1, 0. Now you know your bases. Also, I am a 4 by 4 square. Wow. A big square. Also, there are lots of other bases yet to be explored. Have a go at making your own. It's gonna be so much fun. 52 plus 79 equals 131. 52 plus 23 equals 75. 11 plus 74 equals 85 40 plus 98 equals 138 36 plus 26 equals 62 18 plus 45 equals 63 9 plus 97 equals 106 13 plus 69 equals 82 23 plus 88 equals 111 105 plus 107 equals 212 79 plus 71 equals 150 5 plus 13 equals 18 68 plus 28 equals 96 87 plus 12 equals 99 